So the readings in this week's Bible in a Year plan uh, have uh, quite a few different texts. We've got texts from uh, two Chronicles and two Kings, looking at some of the very negative portraits of kings of, of Israel in the north and Judah in the south. Um, you'll notice that Chronicles tends to focus on the southern kingdom, and two Kings uh, in the readings this week has a lot to do with uh, the ministry of Elisha as well. Um, we'll read about uh, two psalms, Psalms 82 and 83. So Psalm 82 is about the kind of righteousness and justice God wants to see in society. And he's charging on um, maybe the so-called gods or, or kings to, to do that. And uh, in Psalm 83, there's a, a plea to God to intervene because there are enemies all around. And um, speaking of, of enemies... Um, or sorts of enemies, we read Obadiah, which is a one chapter uh, book in the Old Testament. It's a prophecy against the nation of Edom, which is descendants of Esau. So they were like a brother nation to Israel, yet uh, at Israel's most desperate moment and the destruction of Jerusalem, Edom actually exploited that situation rather than helping them. And so you can read about that, that response from the prophet Obadiah. Uh, and then we get, perhaps with some relief, you might think, to Luke chapters one to four. And I guess we could think about it in terms of all the ways that Israel failed or its leaders failed, um, all the hostility and enmity that Israel experienced. How do we see those themes sort of being wrapped up in the, the arrival and ministry of Jesus? So it covers his early, very early life and up to the beginnings of his ministry um, Luke was writing an orderly account. He's a kind of historian trying to gather sources and present a, compel present a compelling case uh, for discipleship in Jesus. And uh, Jesus enters history as the, the perfect king in the midst of an oppressive empire. Um, where Israel failed, Jesus will succeed. So you might see some of those themes uh, coming out. We also see themes of joy, of prophecy, of salvation. Of, of perhaps warning that, that salvation is going to be accompanied by suffering. But we'll finish with some words of Simeon. This might even be something we can memorise this week. Simeon, an old man who sees uh, the baby Jesus at the temple. And um, we read in, in uh, Luke chapter 2, uh, he says, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you've prepared in the sight of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people, Israel.